Hey guys, hi the Black Rose here. Okay, so um oh hello <laughs> Mika I guess waiting or not. Sorry Mika. Um okay so I've been kind of like thinking to tie this in with um my fictional character series but if I were to have an enchanted book um, that could let me totally escape to any world I really, really wanted to, um, like from Beauty and the Beast. That's a really awesome idea and, and I wondered where I would go first. So, if you think you're gonna stay with me on this mad video, I would open the book and think of the places I really would want to go. I would start off with fantasy, then, then work my way into the horror side of it. So, I would go following the white rabbit down the rabbit hole and um, I would drink the potion to make me shrink the eat me biscuit to make me grow and and find a hidden door that would leave to another favourite part forevermore Erebor I would love to go to Erebor and see every single one of the good characters and I would have weapons to fight and kill any orcs or goblins or trolls that stood in my way um i i would love to fight Teriel well not fight against her fight alongside her in Legolas and King Franjo and also for a knocking shield and all the dwarves. Um I think that would be kind of fun but then I would find the next door from Erebor and um this going to Narnia for a little while and then obviously I would have to find the exit from Narnia to Harry Potter's world and I would just love to fight wizards and ride on dragons and obviously I would go into Game of Thrones but I would have to go in disguise as a boy because yeah uh, being a female in Game of Thrones is not the wisest or safest place. I would love to fight against Jon Snow and if I could survive the encounter with uh, Khal Drogo I would just be really happy. Um, and um, I would also go to Asgard and fight alongside Thor and Loki. Um, but yeah, call me a meal and Quim. Yeah, I would love to slap him. Um. And then obviously I would 
jump into the ocean blue so I could see the world from Ariel's point of view. Um, yeah, I I would really love to be a mermaid for a little while and just see what it's like from the ocean blue and just find the missing door and it would lead me back to Erebor. I, I would probably visit Erebor quite a lot. Um, I would love to fight alongside um, Healy and Keely. Um, quite honestly, I think I could take on a few orcs if, if they were fighting with me because I am 5 foot 2 so, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd probably be cast as a female dwarf, <laughs> but I'm not a dwarf, um, <laughs> but it, that's what they would class me as because in Tolkien's world, for those of you who do not know, um, anyone who's 5'2 or even under that psych I were going to be dwarfs or hobbits. So, yeah. Um, and I would love to meet Lord Elrond and Gladriel and Gandalf and Bilbo. Um, but finding the door to lead me home from Erebor, that would be a quest in itself um, because I don't think it would stay in the same place. I would love to find Spooky Door and, and take me into the darker sides of Erebor if they are. Um, fighting Mirkwood and then travel through door to visit Dracula. <laughs> um, yeah, I think visiting Dracula would be very interesting. Um, and not the bum, the, not, not Stoker's version. Um, but the Dracula and Toad version. Um, uh, although Ira Dracula would be really cool, to be honest. Um, and then I would find the, the light. Right door. And I would love to see the realm of fairies. So you can pretty much guess the books that I quite like. Anything with fantasy and mythical creatures and vampires. Um, let me know in the comments section below which book you would like to go and visit. Um, and if you want me to do this one book what I would live in for a year and then, or even a couple of months, put in the comments section below. Thank you guys for watching, to write or not to write, but for now I must bid you 
uh, literature and magical good night and thank you for watching bye